came out, it was banned everywhere. Right. It was supposed to have terrible lyrics and That's all. right. In fact, in 1965, there was an FBI and an FCC investigation into the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The official finding was that the lyrics were unintelligible at any speed. You, <laughs> you couldn't understand a word of this song. Yeah, which made it the per perfect political song for us. <laughs> <laughs> of mall-to-mall -mall petitioning and researching the legal ramifications of our cause, it was now time to march Louis Louis direct to the legislature, where the doors of opportunity are open to almost everyone. <laughs> well, we finally made it. Now, this room is empty now, but in a few minutes it will be full of lawmakers, and Louis Louis will be introduced as a point of personal privilege. We're all very proud. <laughs> I present to Mr. Ross Schaefer, who is one of the driving forces behind Lurie Lurie. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the Whalers and the Kingsmen, two Northwest bands who brought this song to national recognition and sold more than 12 million copies, uh, and our show, Almost Live, we applaud the courage and dedication of this Senate to, uh, to have the nerve to present something like this before our body. <laughs> The question is the adoption of the resolution. Those in favor will say aye. Aye. Those opposed will say no. No. The guys appear to have it. Nice day. Isn't it nice to know that our people will sell out for a Louis Louis button? <laughs> Members of the Senate for the state of Washington hereby declare April 12, 1985 to be See, that's what I think America is all about. I mean, they, they knew this was all a silly pudding. They, they really did, Dick. And, and the legislators in the state of Washington had a sense of humor about this and, and uh, took it in good fun. But did, did you ever get the song up for a vote? No, we actually didn't get that far. But we did get a, an official proclamation for Louis Louis Day, which is what you just saw. And what did you do after that? Well, I thought that there was still some public sentiment for this mm -hmm. thing because we had distributed about 60,000 of these Louis Louis buttons <laughs> in about 10 days. And so I wanted to know what were they doing with these buttons. Yeah. So I went out into the street to find out. Hey, show us your Louie Louie button. All right, Louie Louie. Oh, Louie Louie. Come on. Hey, I got mine. grassroots enthusiasm you want in a political well, campaign. Well, naturally, then, you didn't give up. No, we didn't. In fact, when Louis Louis Day finally arrived, we <laughs> we asked uh, people from the state of Washington to rally on the steps of the Capitol. Who now, turned up? Uh, we, well, actually, the, some of your old friends were there. Uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders, the Whalers, the Kingsmen, and a couple of other people, a big band playing Louis Louis. A lot Louis. of people? Uh, well, we expected about 200, actually. Mm -hmm. Take a look at how many were really there. <laughs> Our surprise and amazement, over 5,000 people showed up at the state capitol to celebrate this momentous occasion in full Louis Louis regalia. Even Governor Gardner rose to the spirit of the occasion. And whereas I intend to get even with Ross Schaefer. And finally, Thurston County Commissioner George Barner and his band, the original trendsetters, put some dignity into the event. Soon they were joined by the Whalers, the Kingsmen, Paul Revere and the Raiders who made a special trip from L.A. to be a part of this happening. And even the string orchestra from Ferndale High School. It was clear that Louie Louie touched a familiar chord in everyone. And I was filled with pride to be a part of the American system where even the little guy has the freedom to make his voice heard.